from this to this or even from this to this in Ladrum. Send them all because I got you covered. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am a dose artistry, a photographer YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria. This is my official YouTube channel. Yeah, I post creative photography, artistic photography, my editing style, my post processing, and yes, my behind the scenes. If you want to learn photography or learn my photography style, do not forget to hit the subscribe button like turn on post notifications or even leave a comment i would love and i would appreciate to know the type of videos you would love to see up next on my youtube channel today is a big one an amazing one today i'm going to be teaching how to make a boring photo cinematic in lightroom before you can call or say an image or a photo is cinematic, they are things to be considered. There are lots or some criteria. It has to be a storytelling element in the picture. Color. Yes, color conveys emotions. You have to be very selective. You have to be very picky when it comes to color. And also lighting. So these are some of the criteria you need to consider before you can call an image cinematic. What editing or what color grading does is to enhance an image that is already portraying some of these criteria that I just mentioned. So without no further ado, we are going to go straight into Lightroom. Let's begin. This is the image um, we are going to be using for today's tutorial and I shot this image sometime um, I think three months um, three months ago. Um, I just bought my lens and I decided it was my first time bringing my camera to the gym. So I decided to take some pictures of my friend Wale and most of the pictures are actually boring but so i decided to bring them to lightroom and just see what i could do with them and it came out really nice so i decided to drop a tutorial for you guys to learn so when you take boring photos you can bring them to life so here you can see the image is looking really warm like we've got like lots of orange yellows and red on this particular image so without no further ado we are going to go straight right into color grading this image so this is the before and this is going to be the after so why i um, um always do this when i'm color grading i try as much as possible to um always check the before so i will not do too much uh, one thing you need to have in mind when color grading or when trying to like do post processing editing color grading or whatever um always try not to do too much yes just do it is that subtle um adjustment you do that actually gives life to the image so not the extreme ones and it is exactly what i'm going to teach you in today's tutorial so firstly let's go to the basics so right here we can see we have like lots of um, yellows and warm tones here so firstly what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it a little cold so by adding blues so let's see okay um i think i'm going to leave this around 4,000 I think I'm going to leave this around 4,000 so this is the first step you can see the image is looking cold so let's go to the tints I'm going to bring this to um, around plus um, okay I think plus 10 is fine then I'm going to come down to the exposure I'm going to add around 30 um 0.30 is fine by me um 
so when you are color grading cinema you want to um, try as um, much as possible to flatten the dynamic range a little to make it look more cinematic and it's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to bring down the contrast to around, let's say 50. So don't forget, we can always come back to adjust or do anything that we want. So I'm going to bring the highlights down, okay, to maybe around minus 20. Then I'm going to lift the shadows a little, uh, maybe around plus 11 is fine. Then I'm going to bring down the whites to so maybe around minus 11 is fine. Then I'm going to leave the blacks. So I'm going to leave the texture set to zero, clarity set to zero, the set to zero, vibrance set to zero. But I'm going to reduce the saturation a little more. Okay, I think minus um, 10 is fine. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to work on the tune curve here. I'll work on the color before then I'll come back to the tune curve. So when it comes to color, you have to be very careful because like I said, or I don't know if I mentioned earlier, color tells a story. So you um, color convey emotions. So you are going to try as much as possible to be careful and also understand coloring to some extent. I'm going to um, uh, I'm going to record another content explaining more on the color theory. And this is one of the reasons why you have to turn on post notifications so you'll be notified when I drop any content on my YouTube channel. So here I'm going to start with the reds. I'm going to bring this down so um, firstly what you have to have in mind is we are trying to push the warmer tunes to the highlights and pull push the um, the cold tunes to to um, to the shadows so make the highlights warmth and make the shadows cold this is a, this is one of the ways you can make your image look cinematic and is what we are going to apply to this particular image so i'm going to bring this down a little then bring the reds a little i'm going to leave the luminous set to zero they come to the orange i'm going to bring it down around minus 10 going to add um, around plus 20 then because um, I'm actually color grading a dark skin model so I want to make this skin tone a little so it will give that nice and um, soft sweet skin tone so I'm going to bring down the luminance of the orange to around let's see um minus 40 okay i'm going to leave this around here i can always come back to adjust let's go to the yellows i'm going to pull this at the way to plus 50 let me see then i'm going to bring down um 50 i'm going to leave the luminous set to zero then let's come down to the greens. Um, let me push this around. So we don't really have like a lot going on um, with the greens, but you can see this little, um, I don't know what that is, but you can see we have greens there. So I'm going to try to make it look more like an aqua color. So I'm going to bring this around here, then pull this slider down around here. I'm leaving the luminance set to zero and I'll come down to the aqua like we don't have like a lot going on here too but in case I want to save this preset I'm going to bring this around um, plus 50 then I'm leaving the saturation set to zero the luminance set to zero 
come down to the blues um, I'm going to leave the use set to zero then I'll bring down the saturation of the blue because I want it to look a little more like the teal color so I'm going to desaturate it to have the teal color then I'm going to leave my luminous set to zero let's go to the purple I'm going to bring this all the way down to minus 51 the U saturation then I'm going to bring down the saturation then I'm leaving the luminous set to zero then the magenta I'm going to leave the U set to zero then bring down the saturation I'm going to leave the luminous set to zero so before we go back to the tune curve i'm going to come down to this color grading so don't forget we are trying to make the highlight look warm and we are trying to make the shadows look cold so just put that at the back of your mind when doing your color grading so here we have the shadows we have the mid tunes and we have the highlights so down to the shadows first I'm going to pull the slider down to the magentas so let me increase the saturation and see let's see what this is doing you can see how it's adding blues to the um, shadows but we do not want it to be too extreme so I'm going to bring it around in minus 10 or okay I think 11 is fine I'm going to leave the luminous set to zero then I'll come to the uh, to the mid tunes um going to bring this around here then bring down bring the so you can see the highlights you can see how the highlight is looking warm having that warm nice skin tune and you can see the words you can see that soft warmness so this is what we love so um i'm going to leave this around okay I think I want more of this. I think I want more of this. Let me leave it here. Let me leave the saturation set to 40. Then readjust this. So I can always come back to adjust if I am not comfortable with anything. Or if I think anything is too extreme. Then I'm going to leave the luminous set to zero. Then come down to the highlights. Um, let me bring the slider around here around here now let's see okay so um let me bring this around 50 let's see i'll leave the luminous set to zero so now let's come to the blending and the balancing um so for the blending i'm going to reduce this and see bring it down to around um let's see 30 then the balancing i'm going to bring this all the way down okay i think i'm going to increase the mid tone a little to around 50 to around 50. so let's see the before and after of this the before and after the before and after you can see how this is changing and doing a lot i'm going to close here then come down to detail you can see the image is looking really blurry like it's actually a boring photo but i'm just trying to bring it to life so i'm going to increase the amount all the way up all the way here so let's see so okay so now let's go to the zoom curve so um so like i said we are trying to flatten the dynamic range a little when it comes to cinematic you have to have all of this in mind so um what i can do here is i can um let's see let's push the shadows a little and let's bring this Let's bring this so this is the shadow the mid tune is any highlights so okay let me uh, put a point here and also um, put a point here let me see okay take this one. ok 
okay so let me lift the okay i'll leave it here then let's come down to the blues and see let me leave a point here here and here can you see yes you can see what this is doing this is changing a whole lot then let's um bring this a little see the before and after of this before and after you can see how sweet this is looking so now i'm going to click here and adjust the highlights let me see what this is doing okay i think i want some highlights you can see you can um, see the singlet you can see his shirt is it shirt or oh, i don't know <laughs> okay, you can see the highlights so i'm going to add around Okay, I think plus 40 is fine. I'm going to leave it this way. So let's see. See the before and after. Where is the um before and after? Let's see the tune before and after. You can see how this changed a lot. So um the last thing I am going to do is come down to the effects because I want my subject to be more um to be more of what is taking attention in the whole scene so i'm trying to push more attention to my subject so to do this i'm just going to add like a vignette around it um let's see um let's bring this down to around minus 30 then let me see bring the midpoint to around okay i think 40 is fine by me let's see the before and after the before and after this is beautiful this is beautiful so guys you can see how quick and easy this is so the last thing i'll do it's actually preferential i would like to crop this image so to do that i'm just going to click on the icon here then um crop it to the instagram size the four by five so i'm just going to frame and see okay i think this frame works for me then i'm going to just enter this is it let's see the before and after you can see the before and after so guys i have um other videos teaching um teaching how to color grade in photoshop so for those of you that would prefer to just do your post processing and everything and just wrap everything up in photoshop i have a color grading um tutorial here on my channel teaching how to color grade cinematic in photoshop welcome back thanks for sticking till the end of this tutorial if you learned or gained something please do not forget to subscribe turn on post notifications like and leave your comments i i need it now please encourage me small <laughs> thank you